This video brought to you by Bodega Cooler. Consider a Bodega Cooler for your next RV, overland, or camping adventure. Hey guys, welcome back to Ed's Garage. Today, a quick product review. This is the Bodega Cooler outdoor power bank. And this is, uh, I just got this uh, recently to help power our little trip here that we're going on. Uh, if you haven't already checked out some of the other videos, uh, please uh, check the link in the description below for a playlist on all of our camping videos uh, for our cross country road trip. But basically we're gonna be bringing this power bank with us for all of our portable power bank needs. This thing is 9600 amp hours or 96,000 milliamp hours um, about 300 watt hours or about a third of a kilowatt hour and uh, that should be plenty for running all sorts of equipment charging phones running the cooler that sort of thing the uh, to give you an idea the bodega fridge freezer that we have on maximum power uses about 60 watts um, something like this could run that fridge for over five hours on maximum. But the thing is, of course, those fridges, they don't stay on the whole time. They only stay on maybe about a third of the time once they're at temperature. So you can expect to, uh, to run a fridge freezer, for instance, on something like this for well over a day. And that's pretty cool. So let's check this out. Let's unbox it, see what it comes with. Um, it's uh, pretty nice packaging from the outside. Come on in a little closer. Let's get a look at this. All right, so right off the bat, well packaged. We've got about three quarter inch of foam all the way around. Comes in a really nice case with a Velcro uh, flap here. Plastic wrapped as well. Let's get this opened up. Oh, I could have done this better. <laughs> all right. Okay, cool. So it's got a really nice uh, carrying handle here. And this actually is a light, very, very powerful light. Uh, LED light, of course. I got some protective film over the, uh, over the thing here. All right, so as far as ports go, we've got two 12 volt ports. So that'll come in super handy. And then on this side here, we got a DC in port, so that's for charging it. You can also charge from USB-C, super handy. And then it's got two USB-2 ports, wattage, 15 watts each, and then a DC out. So if you have a refrigerator or something that has a DC out uh, or DC plug like that, you can plug that directly in. Um, and then the rest of it is just solid, no connections or anything. So this can output a total of 60 watts constantly, consistently, so that's pretty good. So the bottom two 12 volt ports, they're 15 watts each. Um, and then I guess the rest is kind of split up between those three ports. So I guess 10 watts each maybe, 10, 10, and 10. So 10, 10, 10, 15, 15, 60 watts total. So yeah, very, very useful. Um, looks like we got buttons here for the charge level. So I don't know if you can see that in this sunlight. I'm getting close there, so it's showing our charge level. And it's also got what looks like uh, sort of Wi-Fi section there or something like that. We'll have to check that out when we get home. And then we can turn the light on probably by holding this button. There we go, lights are on. Can't really see it right now because it's so bright out. All right, a couple other things in the box. We have the charging adapter, uh, 20 volts, two amps output. So 40 watts of power coming from the charging adapter. We got a USB, USB-C. Sorry, USB-C to USB-C and a USB-C to USB-A, as well as a DC to DC connection, and then an adapter for all sorts of different connections. So basically your, your DC plug goes into here, the other end into the, uh, the power bank, and then you can plug that into whatever you need. So this actually might work for laptops. So that's definitely something we're gonna give it a shot to uh, see if that works. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's see what this thing can actually power. All right, so first thing we've got plugged in here, you'll notice is this laptop, and I've got the battery sitting right outside here. And this is kind of cool. So it came with all of these adapters uh, for different types of laptops. And as you can see, I just have a little cord. Sorry, let me just get this red one out of the way here. This little cord running right from the uh, power pack into the adapter, into the laptop. So depending on the laptop, you know, you just pick whichever adapter you need. But the thing you need to know is that the output power is controlled with this button right here. So let me show you what I mean. So when using this little DC output cable, 
basically you're plugging it in into the uh, the DC out port here, not to be confused with the DC input port here, which this subsequently actually also fits into. So um, the reason there's one there is because you can actually charge this from a solar panel. It'll take a charge from anything between 18 to 24 volts on that input there, and then also the USB-C connection. But if you're gonna be using the DC out with this cable, this button right here turns it on first of all, and um, you gotta hold it down to turn it on. And you'll see it actually says, sorry, it was on already. So hold it down, turn it on, it says 12 volts, and then you press it again, it bumps it up to 16 and a half volts, press it again, bumps it up to 20 volts, which is good for laptops. And again, press it, uh, it goes up to 24 volts. So you can actually optimize, or sorry, you can customize uh, how many volts you want to put out on that cable. So if you're unsure what your device uses, be very, very careful, make sure you read the um, uh, input voltage on the bottom of your device. So if, to give you an idea, on the bottom of a laptop, let's flip this guy over here. Uh, you'll notice right here it says input 19.5 volts. So that's close enough to 20 uh, that if we put this on 20 volts, it works just fine. All right, now with, even with everything else plugged in, of course I can still plug in my phone to charge. There we go, it's now charging. Or if I don't wanna have to plug it in, keep those USB ports for something else, I can just put the phone right here and press this button, sorry, this button to turn on wireless charging. And there we go, it's now wirelessly charging. So it's got the wireless charging pad on top. All right, lastly, uh, you'll see we've got a big plug-in right here. There's another 12 volt outlet here. I've actually got this plugged into the Bodega fridge freezer. Check this out. So this is the Bodega T50 fridge freezer. And when under full power, it draws about 60 watts. Um, as you can see, it's uh, getting down. We got zero degrees in one side, 10 degrees in the other side. So it's actually cooling down right now. And yeah, it's plugged into this power pack and doing a good job. Um, and I believe you can even still use the light. Yep, you can see, turn on the light uh, even while it's running and while it's powering different devices. So pretty cool. All right, so having a look at the bottom or the side, depending on how you look at it here, we have the GP50 is the, uh, the model number of this power pack. Uh, as you can see, capacity at 3.2 volts is 96,000 milliamp hours. Uh, or 307 watt hours. So battery pack capacity at 12.8 volts, uh, volts is 24,000 milliamp hours. Um, so of course that equals the same, 307.2 watt hours. The DC input ranges from 18 to 24 volts, so perfect uh, voltage for uh, solar panels, and it'll take a maximum of four amps while charging. The USB-C in, of course, is DC five volts and three, three amps. Um, you also have with uh, USB-C, you also have a nine volt and a 12 volt input. Uh, so it really depends on the type of USB-C input. There are some devices that can actually draw up to 20 volts at three amps. Uh, the USB-C out, of course, is also DC 5, 9, 12, 15, and 20 volts. And it also has here a DC uh, USB uh, one and two. That's essentially these two ports here. So you have the USB-C, can be used for charging uh, in and out. And then the USB one and two, which is basically USB three speeds uh, or for charging or USB three for power. Um, sorry, I'm getting all tongue tied, but you get the idea. <laughs> DC output 12 volts at five amps, 16.5 volts at four amps, 20 volts at three and a half amps and 24 volts at three and a half amps. And then the cigarette lighter outs one and two are both rated for a 12 volt out at 15 amps, which is actually quite a bit, that's awesome. And then the wireless charger is actually a very, very quick 10 watts. That's pretty good to see as well. All right, so I gotta say this little uh, Bodega Cooler GP50 actually packs a lot of power and it's super, super convenient. The only thing I wish it came with was a car charger, but of course I can charge it from USB um, with the, uh, the car, so that's not necessarily a problem. Um, other than that, uh, the only other thing I'll say is that the case could be a little bit bigger to accommodate the charging cord and some of the other cables. For now, it just kind of accommodates the cables and the adapters, not necessarily the charging cord. But that's the only thing I would change aside from the, uh, uh, the USB or the uh, car charger. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you're looking for a handy little battery pack, super convenient. Um, yeah, if this video was helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video where we actually are going to start our cross country trip. That'll be uh, Monday, probably it'll be the first video this coming Monday, the 17th. Um, but yeah, thank you so much and have a great day.